For those of you who are on your journey and who are starting to put content out, make sure that you, because you're, you're supposed to be uh, guiding people now through your experience, but if you haven't even gone through the dark night of the soul yet, you really shouldn't even be talking about it because it's going to seem super confusing when people go back to watch your content. Because you're going to realize you were wrong about some things, right about some things. And you also have to make sure that you are publicly stating the part that you played in everything. Example, a lot of us were codependent on parents. But it's because of the people pleaser and the trauma bond that they created. It makes us uh, not want to leave people because we feel bad for them. And then we become dependent upon them for either a roof over our head or a job or money or whatever it is, uh, having your bills paid, bailing these out of jail, whatever it is, you have to start taking accountability. You can't just start creating content and put pointing fingers at everybody else. Um, we are at fault for a lot of shit. So if you want to attract the right kind of people, you're going to have to take accountability or you're going to attract narcissists who don't take accountability. If all you're doing is pointing the finger at everybody else that was in your life, that's the kind of people you're going to attract. Remember, you're trying to get away from this. And the way to get away from this is to put boundaries up, admit that you were wrong in a lot of shit, admit that even if it was to the point of allowing the things to happen, that you are accountable for things, but don't just have that be the only accountability. You know, a, a lot of um, us, we had kids we weren't ready for. Or we had addictions we couldn't afford. So you're going to have to really, really get into a dark place before the universe will have anything thrive off of your experience. Some of you guys are just starting and you're expecting to have like what other people have that have gone through the most difficult time that they barely got through. So this is part of your story. Do you want your story to be quick? You want your story to be something where people listen to it, they get bored and they turn their back on you? Or do you want your story to be something that's going to turn heads two, 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 and actually catch the attention of people who can really help you, but it's because they see something in you. They don't see somebody who's still blaming everybody else. You feel me? So yeah, there's a lot of work that needs to be done before you get to the point of some of the channels that you're watching. I was one of those people and I realized this real quick when I was forced to sit the fuck down by the universe and take accountability for my own shit. In addition to, you know, forcing other people by doing that to take accountability for themselves. But don't just make comments or, or content just putting shit out that's going to protect you because you're supposed to be helping yourself and others. So if you're only talking about you and what they're doing to you, that's not you actually um, giving back, which is what we're here for. If you're an empath and you claim to be one, that's what you're here for. You're here to help. You're here to serve others without expecting anything in return. And with that, you get a whole bunch in return from the universe. So... Some people need to hear this and then you'll be the one telling people what they need to hear and not what they want to hear. Right. All right. I love you guys. Philly out.